Hi, today I will show you how to promote your app with Google Ads. To do this, you must have a Gmail account. Go to ads.google.com and press start now. Choose new campaign. Now we have to select a goal for our campaign, app promotion. The subtype for our campaign is app installs. Mobile apps platform, Android. We need our app link from Google Play. This is our wallpapers app from previous videos. We copy its link and paste it here. Press continue. Let's give our campaign a name, Wally campaign. For this video, we keep locations by default, but you can always target your ads to countries that you need. Same with language. Budget, let's set 10 British pounds daily. Then we have to choose bidding. You have an option to choose whether you want to select install volume or in-app actions. Because we are focused on app installs, we choose to install volume here. Here we select all users for our basic campaign. In the future, when you are more experienced and to experiment with your campaign, you might want to customize basic settings. Before we target cost per install, let's check the keywords related to our app. To do this, you can use a great tool from Google, Keyword Planner. Let's change our target country to US, just as an example. You will definitely want to target your campaign by different geos. Let's start with keywords related to our app. Okay, we got different keyword combinations for our app. Let's filter them according to average monthly searches. We must look for keywords with a high level of searches but low competition and low prices for paid promotion. For example, Wallpapers HD. It has up to 1 million monthly searches but low competition. At the same time, the minimum bid for the ad campaign is 88 cents, which is not cheap. Let's check other keywords. The phone wallpaper also has up to 1 million searches. High competitive niche, but the average minimum price is 18 cents. Beautiful wallpapers keyword, 26 cents. Okay, let's take 20 cents as the average bid for our campaign. Remember that you can always change this if your campaign analysis shows you the necessity to do this. Press save and continue. Here you have to set up an ad group for your campaign. An ad group contains texts, photos, and videos of your ad campaign. You can create several ad groups and organize each around a specific theme, audience, or message. In our example, we will set up one ad group. In the ad group, we will add headlines, descriptions, images, and videos. You can see how they will look on the preview. It is good to use keywords from the Keyword Planner for our headlines and descriptions. After we finish our headlines and descriptions, let's check how our ads will look like. We are moving on, now let's upload some images for our ads. Your images must be of specific size. You can edit them in the online image editors which can be easily found on Google. After that, you can also add a video that will be shown in your ads. You will have to create a video of your app, upload it to YouTube, and insert YouTube links to your campaign settings. Okay, we have completed our campaign settings and we click save and continue. Here are all the main details of our campaign settings. You can always edit and change them. Also, you can always pause and resume your campaign. 
That's it, as you can see it's pretty easy. After you start your campaign, you have to check your analytics and adjust your campaign settings according to the data. Check out more videos at our YouTube channel and Andromo Academy. Be smart, be creative and grow your business with Andromo.